Impact Wrestling presents Under Siege, live May 26th on Impact Plus and Fight. The not so invisible hand of Don Callis and well, he's made his intentions quite clear, Matt, in terms of where his loyalty lies in this historic matchup. There is no question that Don Callis' loyalty lies with Don Callis. Everything that he has thought of and brought to light for this moment and this night, right here. a transcendent talent capable of shifting accepted realities. The best bout machine, the god of professional wrestling, and walks into rebellion as the AEW World Champion. Well, I know Kenny Omega wants to add one more nickname to his collection. He wants to be called the Collector, the Belt Collector, because he's here for one reason and one reason only. He wants to try to become the Impact World Champion. There is no Kenny Omega copy and paste formula. Man, his goal is nothing less than a complete reinvention of professional wrestling. He is the belt collector. He is also the AAA Mega Champion. That title not on the line tonight, but when it comes to professional wrestling, there truly is only one Kenny Omega. You make a great point. Look, nationalism for impact. Also, Don's trying to get your attention, sir. It's been well documented that somewhere there is a strong woman looking down, and I have said that her son will live forever for being the first ever unified champion. Tonight, Rich Swan can etch his name in concrete for the duration of time. You don't tug on Superman's cape, you don't spit in the wind, and you never count out Rich Swan. Yeah, he is the underdog tonight, but this underdog is ready to turn into a wolf. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Impact Wrestling Rebellion main event of the evening, world title versus world title contest. And it is scheduled for one fall. When the bell rings, we will have two referees call in the action, representing Impact Wrestling, Brian Hebner, and representing All Elite Wrestling, Aubrey Edwards. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the corner to my right, he is led to the ring by the invis... Take a break, you pathetic stooge. Let daddy take care of business. Ladies and gentlemen, on a night that is 27 years in the making, the dream of a 10-year-old Kenny Omega and dawn by God callous, it's all culminating tonight in this ring. Title.
versus title. Champion versus champion. You are here in the presence of greatness. Hackenschmidt, Gotch, Stecker, Ed Strangler Lewis, Luthez, Harley Race, Terry Funk, Dory Funk, Vern Gagne, Greg Gagne, Nick Bockwinkle are all insects compared to the greatest wrestler of the last 10,000 years. Weighing in at 224 and a half pounds from the wrestling capital of the world, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, your AEW World Champion, Kenny Bygone Omega! Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, in the corner to my left, accompanied to the ring by Eddie Edwards and Willie Mack from Baltimore, Maryland. He is the defending Impact World Champion, Red Swan. Sunday, April 25th. 2021 history being made at impact wrestling's rebellion a night that i never thought i would see let alone be a part of it's all up for grabs the aew world championship and the unified impact wrestling championship this level of badassery is visible from space my friends i don't know when those belts went up in the air i got chills down my spine it, that I, to, just to see that imagery was impressive. The bell and history begins in addition to their respective titles. Pride and legacy are on the line, Matt. Nothing in this world as far as a physical engagement can outweigh pride and Kenny Omega's ego continues to grow exponentially by the day. Well, perhaps it's justified, because any way you look at it, Kenny Omega is the guy to beat in wrestling. With all due respect, it's not Osprey, it's not Sawama, it's not Fatu or Roosh or even Bobby. It's Kenny Omega, and the only guy that has a chance to do that is Rich Swan. Ooh. Rich Swan immediately with the reversal, and Omega with a quick grab of the hair into the side headlock and. You know that Kenny Omega is going to try to slow down Rich Swan from the get-go. Utilize that size and strength advantage as we are seeing early. And look at the quickness of Kenny Omega and then the arrogance there, just stepping on the back of Rich Swan. The Ayatollah of arrogance, Kenny Omega, but he usually backs it up, Matt. The yeah. god of professional wrestling, the belt collector, and a man who was walking into hostile territory tonight, and he didn't seem to be phased throughout the day. He says, this is another title defense for me. But for Rich Swan, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. Agreed wholeheartedly. Kenny Omega is an elite athlete across all sports. Look, when you look at something like boxing, Floyd Mayweather had the uncanny ability to figure out opponents by the fourth, fifth oh. round, and he put them away. Kenny says he's figured out Rich Swan. And deja vu all over again there, Dealer. Remember the press conference where Omega was fashionably late? Mm -hmm. He lit the fuse by slapping Swan across the face, saying he was already living rent free in Swan's mind, and the game's ship continue in the early goings of this historic title versus title match. And that was meant to get Rich Swan off his game plan, to get in his head, to get him all flustered, to get him angry, to get him off kilter. Swan has had to overcome the loss of his parents by the time he was 16. He overcame career-threatening injuries, plural, last year to become the Unified Impact Wrestling Champion. It's going to take a lot more to get Swan off his game. Yeah, it's a steely reserve. It's Rich Swan's metal and his passion. Leapfrog by Omega. Beautiful athleticism on display by Swan. Oh, that's called a receipt. Yeah. And the drop kick drives Omega outside of the ring. And Tony Khan, the AEW founder and president, applauding the efforts of Omega. Wow. Rich Swan with the drop kick out to the floor. 
Even our camera crew is feeling the effects of this. Whoa! Swan with a version of a Phoenix Splash, twisting something or other off the second rope to the floor. And if that Phoenix Splash would have taken place inside the squared circle, that would have perhaps led to the all-important one, two, three, but he continues to work on Kenny Omega on the outside, but the only way the title can be won in the inside, Matt. Inside the ring, you're 100% correct. And listen, a lot of people say that Kenny has won over Swan, but they feel that Swan may have had won over Kenny, if not for Don Callis. And to your point, if, Ke if Don or Kenny get hit with something like that, it's over. And I think Swan was sending a loud message early, saying, I can hit this Phoenix Splash from anywhere. And now it's Rich Swan unloading the strikes. And say what you will about the credentials of Kenny Omega. The speed and, dare I say, the plethora of strikes the arsenal belongs to to Rich Swan, even though the V-Trigger is one of the nastiest knee strikes you will ever see, I think Rich Swan has the edge when it comes to the more diverse striking attack. It's the hero's journey that Rich Swan is on and what he discovers about himself as a wrestler, how he becomes better. That question is answered here tonight. You see right there, Swan is taking the early control of this, and I, you know, you wonder if this caught Kenny off guard a little bit. Oh, and there answered my question. Oh, Kenny was just laying wait. You know, Morrow, I find it very interesting as we have our guests from All Elite here as well. We also have Scott Demore here. He is on site watching. His investment is here as well. Yeah, I saw Scott hanging around the back, uh, you know, the lights over there. He, he, I saw him for a second, then he disappeared. And you know Omega's done his homework as he had that leap from Swan Pond, well scouted, then delivers the belly to back drop driver, and now has Swan on the apron, dropping him back first across the proverbial hardest part of the ring and there is Impact Wrestling executive Scott Demore watching with very vested interest as we all are here tonight. The future of AEW, the future of Impact Wrestling on the line in this mega main event. This is amazing. So much is up for grabs right now. These two young men are going to show the entire world that two worlds are going to come together and have one world champion at the end. The 37-year-old Omega, the Picasso of professional wrestling the 30-year-old Swan has been well riding a wave like a jet ski. And oh, oh my oh, God! No. Almost oh. went for a nasty ride, and Rich Swan unable. Oh, he spiked he's, right he's, on his head. I thought that Swan was trying to do the handspring. That's what I thought. Pile driver. I thought that handspring cutter that he's known for may have been attempted there, but he had his his vertebrae were compressed. And remember, his career almost ended in January of 2020 in an eight-person tag team match. Oh boy! Oh, buckle bomb by. And Omega's laying the offense on right now. Owie! Showed up by Omega! And Omega quickly goes for the cover! And somehow the heart of Rich Swan still on display, and Rich Swan barely escaping as Omega matchbook cover! My gosh, to blow breath into dirt to make life. Look at oh, Rich's head. Oh, it's oh, right there. God. It looked like Rich lost momentum going up before he could do the springboard to come back. and just, just stalled right there and came right down on top of his head. And Kenny Omega, one of the most cerebral professional wrestlers on the planet. You know where he is focusing his attack now, Matt. Yeah, you can't deny it. Listen, Kenny Omega is a lot of things to a lot of people. For all the things we want to say about him negatively about his attitude, he's inspired a generation. There are 9, 10, 11 year old kids out there that, that love him. I personally don't get Aaron Koch out in Maryland wants to be Kenny Omega. There are kids growing up that want to be this guy. You know, Devil is in the details, and if you look at the best and the greatest of all time, all the GOATs are detailed people, and Kenny Omega is incredibly detail-oriented, D'Lo. Well, he's really detailed, and he was willing to sacrifice everything. He's willing to sacrifice his personal life to become the best. He's willing to sacrifice family to become the best. He's willing to sacrifice a company to become the best. Omega's a clear vision, unwavering confidence in himself. You know, I asked as part of my prep for this mega match, Matt and D'Lo, how do you beat Kenny Omega? Even Siri didn't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
Fair enough, but you mentioned that Don said a vision without execution is a hallucination. Is Rich Swan hallucinating? Can Rich Swan beat Kenny Omega tonight? Wow, pendulum backbreaker and just like the bow and arrow now really working on the lower back and you can see he is pinpointing his attack, attacking the neck, yep. then the lower back, and Tony Khan, Jerry Lynn of AEW, they are loving what they're seeing right now. It's perfect Kenny symmetry, D'Lo. Kenny Omega has been focused on the neck of Rich Swan since five or six minutes going. Cover here by head. Omega, sorry, D'Lo, and oh. Rich Swan able to lift that right shoulder just in the nick of time. And there, Kenny Omega's continuing that offense on that, on that neck and back of Rich Swan. Oh! Wow. And Omega, the sky-high knees wow. into the lumbar region of Rich Swan. Tomorrow, D'Lo, when we think about the one-winged angel, we think about the impact, we think about Rich's neck, his lower back. Kenny is systematically dissecting Rich Swan. And you can see Kenny Omega starting to feel it now. He's starting to feel in charge. Because you can see that confidence come out of oh. arrogance. Another forearm right into the small of Rich Swan's back. And Omega admiring his handiwork, wanting to make an example of Rich Swan and add to his collection of championship belts as that knife edge chop reverberates throughout. The venue for Impact Wrestling's Rebellion. Again, the back exposed by oh. Rich Swan, and now he caught Kenny with the elbow. Now Kenny with a nice four, uh, uh, you know, Rich with a nice forearm there, and Kenny is rock. And Swan trying his best to put as much power behind those shots, still nursing that lower back, and oh, the Katara well, pressure! No, well counter. scouted by Swan, the counter! Oh. And the step over with the mule kick to the face by Omega! Frog splash, cover! Oh. And one count away from becoming AEW World Champion. Brian Heather's hand was almost down for the three count. This match was almost over. See, Tony Khan, his money and his heart are conflicted. <laughs> oh, oh. What a knife edge chop by Omega and again. Chopping down Rich Swan. Double axe oh. handles now to the back. Look at Rich. He's getting a burst of adrenaline. You can oh. never discount Rich Swan, and he fires back with chops of his own, lighting up Kenny Omega. He's got to figure out a way to neutralize Kenny's size and strength advantage. A flurry of forearms by Omega, sends Swan for the ride, and then Swan with the STO sends Omega to the canvas, but just momentarily. Reversal on the Irish whip, Omega comes off. Omega gets caught in that flying head scissors takeover by Swan. This is how you neutralize Kenny's strength advantage. Rich Swan needs to elevate his game up and just use his speed. A tremendous start to this mega main event and this step up in Zagiri by Swan. The nice. Frankensteiner out of the corner, utilizing his hops. The Go springs in his cover. legs go for the cover. And Omega kicks out at one. You look at Rich Swan and you have to ask yourself, what does he need to do? Everyone is talking about Kenny Omega. Everyone is focused on Kenny Omega. Let's talk about Rich Swan. What Rich Swan needs to do is focus on himself and focus on a way to put Kenny Omega down for three seconds. Swan weathering the early Omega storm like a parka. And again, you talk about heart. We all know the story of Rich Swan will never be the biggest or the strongest, but he has the athleticism. He has the heart, the dogged determination, but he also has standing in front of him the best belt machine, Kenny Omega. Where's Kenny Omega going? Oh, he's going up to the top. It's been an uphill battle for Rich Swan his entire life. I don't think he'd have it any other way here tonight. And he continues to climb in this match. Corner mount. Ooh. Oh, a shot to the trapezius, the deltoid of Swan, and the headbutt by Kenny Omega. Those shooter chops will really neutralize you. Precarious position here for both Kenny Omega, Rich Swan. Swan all the way to the oh, top no. turnbuckle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rich's right hand, though. He's trying to hold on to the top rope. It's the only thing Both champions right willing to pull out all that. Oh. And oh, Omega lands on the back of his head, on his neck. And Omega feeling the impact. 
just like that, the tide can turn. And now Rich Swan is taking full advantage. And, and it's in perfect position for a Phoenix Splash. If Rich can hit this, Frog Splash! Oh, Frog Splash finds the target! Swan gets the control of that! He the Cow leg. He couldn't look it. You see that? He kept reaching yep. for the leg and couldn't get it. And now it's Omega dealing with adversity against the graduate from the University of Adversity and almost graduated to become AEW World Champion right there. Oh, with honors, move the tassel from one side to another, but that's when the real challenge begins. When you graduate, you gotta go into the real world. And we talk about Swan striking, discus chop, pancreas style open there. palm strikes. Oh, what a kick! AEW contingent enjoying the action. Gut wrench into the Dr. Wiley bomb by Omega. Will it be enough? No, Swan able to kick out. Gosh, it was like a Corellan lift from Omega to put o uh, Rich into position here. Omega, an avid gamer, a walking cheat code, his own joystick, not much joy on the face of Impact Wrestling executive Scott Damore. The tension palpable here tonight. You can cut it with a knife. I mean, right now, I look around and both execs are just... Oh, the train trigger! As nasty as Kenny wanna be Angel with that... One -wing here it is. Oh, here it is. The one-winged one angel. Swan was able to escape in that six-man match and hard to kill. Oh, and Omega just clocked him with that spinning heel kick. And, and none of this offense is by accident. Everything is focusing on Rich's neck because that's exactly where the one-wing angel is capitalizing on. Yet, where you need the injury act. No one has ever kicked out of the one-winged angel. Omega, letting it all sink oh, in, and oh. another V trigger, explosive knee smashing right into the face of Rick Swan. This could be it. What a sickening thud that was. Swan may be out on his feet here. Okay. Kenny Omega has Rich Swan right for the picking, setting him up now, putting uh -oh. him in. From up there? The uh -oh. electric chair. Oh, but Omega. Rich Swan is up high. Oh, no. Oh, no, not an avalanche. Electric. No, nope, that'll be slip. Oh, and and cover. The cover by Swan. Oh. Omega able to escape, and Swan able to escape what could have been an avalanche one-winged angel. Swan has showed us, D'Lo and Morrow, that the, the, the most, the easiest route out of the one-winged angel is to slip down the back and catch the sunset flip. He's shown us that twice, but what happens when Kenny starts to counter that? Well, Kenny is a gamesman. He's a chess master, and he's going to figure that counter move out, and he's not going to allow Rich Swan to slide down the back. Omega holding the back of his head, back up to his feet. Both these men champions here tonight, but not for long. Swan with the right hand. Oh! Discus chopped by the Impact Wrestling Champion, blocked by Omega. Oh. But able to nail that spot. Oh. Oh, the big trigger again from nowhere. Oh, oh, dragon suplex by Kenny Omega. The dragon rush as Omega feeling the rush of success here in this title versus title match. Omega taking Swans back here. What does Kenny have in mind? Full Nelson, not again. Another dragon rush, and how much more can Rich Swans' neck absorb, D'Lo? I don't know. Do you see the impact of those two? It's just that those Snapdragons are just ridiculous. They're vicious. They're brutal. Not. He's looking for the hat trick. Oh, no. The former goaltender has a unique vision and definitely has a unique vision, but now it's Rich Swan uh, with vision of his own. Final let one through the five hole there. And Swan able to connect with the cutter, rattling Kenny Omega momentarily. Both of them on their feet. Handspring Swan looking for the cutter. Oh, now the referee, Omega, moved the referee into harm's way. Yes, he totally pulled him right into, into Rich Swan's cutter, and Brian Heather is, is out. Brian just turned Swan inside out. The other official, Aubrey Edwards from AEW. Yeah, and I think this was Scott Demore's concern here now because now the Impact title sits in the hands of an All Elite Wrestling official. 
strength. And Kenny Omega's coming in with that chair, and Aubrey Edwards is paying attention to Brian Hebner. No, no, you don't, not a match of this magnitude. Kenny Omega, you're better than this. Kenny Omega, the AEW World Champion, has a chair. This is the best bout machine. This is Don Callis' influence. Letting both Callis and Omega know, as you mentioned, Dilo, that she's going to call this right look down the middle. Look at Swan, There's the cutter! Rich Swan just nailed Omega with the biggest handspring cutter of his career! Rich Swan! La Mahistro cradle rolls up Omega! We are going to... No, Omega with the counter! Omega! Oh, oh, shoulder goodness. down, two and a half! What a match! Omega fired up in the corner! He has Swan in his sights for another V Trigger! Missed! Swan gets out of the way, kick! Swan Song has Omega reeling! Spinning Rich Anoku Driver! Can he get the cover? Rich Anoku Driver by Rich Swan! Shoulders are down and Omega somehow able to kick out! Not enough leverage on the shoulders. Omega's able to kick out of that pretty easily. It wasn't a fantastic voyage for Kenny Omega, that's for sure, but he escapes. He maintains his hold on the AEW gold for now. Kenny is exposed here, defenseless. Ooh. Ooh. Straight kick right to the face of Kenny Omega. And look, Richard, this is set up for the Phoenix Splash right here. here we go. This is set up on, for the Rich. Phoenix Splash. Rich Swan. Come on, Rich. Looking Come on. to ascend to the top of the biggest mountain ever. They say that K2 is the toughest mountain to climb. Rich Swan looking for that Phoenix oh. Splash, lands on his feet. Omega oh. V-Trigger, V-Trigger. Omega just detonated another V-Trigger on Swan's face, has him up in the electric chair. If he hooks that head, can he hook that head? Oh, Christ Wrath, Christ Wrath, electric chair into the German with the bridge for a two count. Kenny Omega can beat you in so many ways, Matt. It makes him entirely dangerous if Rick Swan's been so focused oh. on the one wing danger. Jay Driller! Jay Driller by Omega! This has to be it! A new impact wrestling! Oh, Swan said no! Swan said Unbelievable. no! Swan said no! Not tonight! Unbelievable heart being exhibited by Impact Wrestling Champion Rich Swan. He just kicked out of the Jay Driller! Look at this, the Jay Driller right here. Straight in the canvas, but Rich kicks out at two, showing he has still got life. And it's not lost on Kenny Omega. That's the move that fellow Canadian Josh Alexander used to open this night to become the brand new X Division title. Do we end the night the same way? Not so fast. Kenny Omega, the first Canadian to win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship in the New Japan Pro Wrestling. His 2017 trilogy with Kazuchika Okada shattered the day. Combat sports, all of your moments. Where does this stand? This is incredible. Kenny Omega about to deliver the coup de grace. And is Swan going to be able to continue? Yes, this is the biggest match of his life. Yes, this is historic title versus title. But you have to wonder about the welfare of Rich Swan. His friends have to wonder. Look at Kenny Omega taunting the Impact roster here, taunting Eddie Edwards and, and, and Willie Mack. But D'Lo, is this like allowing a team oh, no. to stick around? Oh, no, Omega gets shut him up one more time! End this thing. Rich looks out. Oh, no, come on, there's saliva coming out of his mouth. Referee has to really, really look on here with some serious concern. Rich Swan has taken an unbelievable amount of punishment to the head. Swan's got much on these punches right now. Oh, counter by Swan! Suplex counter by Rich Swan that will buy him precious seconds of time to recharge. 
Rich. Oh, it looks like Rich is setting up again. He's going to the corner again. He's got to take advantage of what's given to him now. He's got to be that counter puncher. The position is there, Rich. Do it. Two champions, two rival promotions on two different television networks going battle to battle here. And Rebellion and Swan misses with the Phoenix Splash. No H2O in the pool. And Omega has it set up again. No, this is getting sick. Oh, no. Omega has won in the electric chair. Oh, what the head is in? Oh, my oh, oh, angel. One oh, more no. angel. No. Oh, no. Here is your winner and new Impact World Champion, Kenny Omega. You can't spell Omega without O. G and Matt, oh my God, what did we just see? Scott DeMore's face tells you everything. What we just saw is history, and what we're seeing is the Impact Unified title walking out the door. I, I, I literally had a loss for words right now. I can't believe what I just saw. Let me gain my composure back, my professionalism. Let's congratulate Kenny Omega. Let's not, let's not bury the lead there. We have a new... Impact World's Champion in Kenny Omega, and and it was a sickening, sickening way this match ended. What a hard-hitting affair. Yes. It was uncomfortable to watch in the final cool. minutes with all the, the plethora of V-triggers scrambling the brains of Rich Swan. I mean, you have to think about Rich Swan, the man. Yes, the athlete, but wow. take nothing away from the pictures on your screen. Mauro Dilo, I'm gonna say it, Kenny Omega is pound for pound the very best wrestler in the world. And, and look here, we can see these eight oh. triggers here to the exposed face of Rich Swan, and then up into the one wing angel, and once Omega gets that head hook, there's wow. nothing left but a one, two, three. And to paraphrase bar spitter Freddie Gibbs, Omega is stacking belts like Pringles, the Lord of the Ring now lords over AEW. Impact Wrestling and AAA, a triple champion. Kenny Omega, the alpha titan of professional wrestling. Have we ushered in a brave new world in professional wrestling? Or have we just opened up Pandora's box?